le prinkro to bahangidash e salamato prande fahida mia corte che se fido e grande anamada ah the end of religion has come I know this will provoke you now, but I don't care. The end of Christianity has come. Yeah. <laughs> Christianity has been judged. So the shaking is Christianity is against Christianity, not Ecclesia. <laughs> there is an exposure happening. And these are the rotting roots yes. and the principalities in Christianity. God is God has judged Christianity, has silenced Christianity. The word has power over Christianity because they created Christianity. Lehida Pelemefeto Usahidia. So, so, so Christianity is a counterfeit of the ecclesia of God. So over the years, everybody has taken the mark of Christianity. So Satan and his government now have struck him. Have struck. That's why everybody is talking against pastors, bishops everywhere. And so, but they don't know that God has preserved for himself. God has preserved for himself on the fire. I say, God has preserved. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. Remnants on the fire. Sons of God across the nations. If you don't have understanding of the timing and the happenings in these last days you will drift away oh yeah 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 thank god that i'm alive in this time thank god that i'm a i'm i don't know about you thank god that i'm alive in this seasons i tell you that's the truth Jesus did not introduce, Jesus did not bring Christianity. Throughout the ministry of Jesus on earth, and when he resurrected, accepted the church, begun the ecclesia, the nation of Christ, all right? He did not in any way introduce to us Christianity. He did not. Show me where Jesus mentioned a Christian or Christianity. He's not done anywhere. Peter didn't preach Christianity. Paul didn't preach Christianity. Actually, Christians or Christians was first mentioned in Antioch by the heathen who called the disciples of Jesus Christians. These are imitators. In fact, in reality, counterfeits of Jesus. Yes, these are like people who, 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 who pretend to be like Christ. They are, they are followers of Christ. So we are not followers of Christ. We are co-heir. Yes. Yes. The Bible says for you are heirs. Come on, heirs with Christ. Co-laborers with Christ. We are the sons of God. Jesus was the first son of God. And we are the many sons that have come by Christ. Hallelujah, sons of God. We are the object of God's love. We are the expression, the conquest, the fruit of redemption. The revelation of the conquest of Calvary. Hallelujah. The dwelling place of Yeshua. The habitation of Christ, the temple of God, the holy of holies. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Leko paradisha. So I retrieve to fellowship on the inside. I, you know, hear me. I retrieve 
to fellowship on the inside because right on the inside is the holy of holies the holy of holies Christ indwells your spirit he indwells your temple and tonight I want you to wake up to who you are are you hearing me now as the devil united false Christianity false thing that you call Christianity now he's about to end it yeah he's a, he begun it he started it Satan created Christian religion and that's why it is a religion not a reality anybody can answer a Christian anybody are you hearing me so he's about to end it so don't end with the end of Christianity you didn't hear me I said don't end with the end don't end alongside with the end of Christianity because Christianity is about to end mark my words and that's why I will destroy any system that reflects Christianity in this place I will kill it completely kill it are you hearing me I don't care what they say they talk against me one man everywhere on YouTube you've not even seen anything you're talking <laughs> get ready this year me me take to paradise nobody comes here nobody comes here I enter Facebook live <laughs> The hour has come yes. to deliver God's people from the deception of Christianity. We have access to the living book. Because the book they are fighting us with and the book these people are talking to, you're a liar, you're a wrong teacher, you're this, you're this, you're this, you're that. That book was written by men. Compiled by men before they released it how many things did they distort how many books did they withdraw from being canonized how many books so we have access to the living world we have access to the living world my ministry is not for now we are planting the seed of the future E.W. Kenyon, in his time, he was like me, preaching things. And people were saying, this man is a physicist. He's an occultic man. He's talking nonsense. I'm talking about 1940, 1940 something. This man was there preaching revelation, deep things. Then all those that, that caused him died. That generation died. <laughs> a new generation came. They couldn't even stand it. So it was the generation of the great move of Hagen. Great men like uh, Catherine Kuhlman and uh, great men, they rose in that move. What a man wrote many years ago, what a man wrote many years ago caused a revival of the future. Why, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why in his time he was rejected? called all kinds of names but he stood strong because he knew who gave him that walk he knew who called him today we are in a generation enjoying what he wrote those days you can't pray in tongues try to pray in tongues they will silence you there were certain mysteries those days that this man stood for that the, the, the then known church rejected and persecuted him but he kept on writing he kept on writing so pastor john has been preaching and he's on youtube it's everywhere why is my message going viral what type of anointing has god placed on it that people cannot help it who why is this guy's message all over <laughs> why is it all over it's called the anointing of expansion. Meshach anointing. Uh, Meshach what? 
anointing is the anointing of expansion, multiplication. So when you carry such an anointing, whatsoever you touch, it multiplies. Lift your hands up. I see Meshach anointing upon you. Meshach anointing upon you. In the name of Jesus the Christ. <laughs>